back now. Hello. I should be back. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. I see the stream up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I tried loading the browser source and OBS was how, like, how about no? And it just hard crashed. All right. Maybe I can go back to one of my like older scenes instead of trying to load it into my art stream. Can we put, is there a Chrome source here? This is the one that used to have like the art border that people didn't really like as much. So, um, I kind of cleared that off back when I was using animes for a little bit. Yeah, it was this one. So, hold on. I can... Add a Chrome window that says this. Okay. So, this is what Tachi was asking me to show everyone. I don't know what it is, but let's <laughs> make it bigger, I guess. And then make this full screen. Ah, no, go away, go away. Okay. This, this. Okay. Okay. You'll need to click on the uh, speaker icon. I already did. Look. All right. Okay. So apparently this is very relevant. People make mistakes. Yep. And it's okay. Of course. And you support them as they grow and develop their talent. Absolutely. I love to watch people grow. But if you made a mistake... I made a mistake! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. <laughs> this is one hundred percent me. Oh my god. <laughs> this is me and a couple of people I know where it's like, oh my god. This is totally us. Okay. Oh wait, that's the live TV pop up back to art stream. Ah, oh, back to your regularly scheduled lo-fi. Ah, oh, I know that feel all too well. It's literally me right now. Just. <laughs> YouTuber to another message received but not followed. Exactly. <laughs> and it's always because like whenever like if it's an if it's not an Aki stream, if I make a mistake, like it feels like it tends to be like big mistakes that I don't notice for a while until like someone tells me, or it's like, hey, uh, Aki, you uh, you might want to worry about this, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> And then, I'm sad. Like, I still need to know to, like, fix the mistake. But it'll be, like, something that... I guess either people think I'm doing on purpose, or... Yeah, I tried loading Chrome in stream to show something and um, 
it crashed OBS, so it dropped stream. And also, I made mistakes with Aki as well. And because this is version 1, it's okay to make a mistake. I just have to keep telling myself that. But like, every time I do, immediately the next time I make a mistake, I just immediately start obsessing over it again. And I was just commenting that like, I do the same thing with like people mistakes too, rather than just art mistakes. Where I don't know if you saw like the the clip earlier, but it was like if people make mistakes. Did you see it? I will post the inside of the memes everyone who missed it. Oh, okay. I mean, it's still set up. I could easily switch to it again. hundred percent speaks to me like that is me that is how I react and in general how I like feel when other people make mistakes so that I was just like that clip is totally me Thank you for saying that. <laughs> it's it's cute, but it also like is 100% accurate. You know what's hilarious though? Like Part of my mistake was like for version when I was like, I want her um, flower ornament to move when I move. Like, I think that would be like really nice to have for version one. And so I cut her flower ornament out. And then I was like, oh, that's, that's a big hole. That's a very big hole. Oh no, that's a huge hole. Uh, I'll leave it alone. Like, everything you're saying makes perfect sense, but... That's what I was saying, like, I'm that kind of person that's just like, <laughs> I messed up! <laughs> but then if someone else messes up, I'm like, oh, it's totally okay, I got you. Yeah, it's one of those. It's just like, way <laughs> And die, thank you forever. But like, you see this like massive hole, how it crosses over like five or six different locations where it's just like, this is a nightmare to in-paint. And I was like, I'm just gonna leave this alone and future Aki will deal with it. Well, I'm future Aki, hello. <laughs> this isn't even the grand boob hole. This is the hole in her neck with her flowers, like her flower ornament. Her boobs are done. <laughs> I still have to fix my mistake with that like I cut her left one out by itself and then I realized like much much later I should just leave them in like the same layer together part of that was the research that I did but at this point 
it took me two hours to like just in paint this part behind all of the like flower stuff and you can see like how many areas that crossed over and this was also my first time like ever in painting like this sort of like the cloth crosses over behind this it's like you can't really see like how that works so like I had to figure out how to paint that I'm sure I'll come back like in v2 and just be like Bleh! even more But at this point, I'm also like just so far in where I'm just like, I. Why am I like freeforming this curve? I'm being dumb. So much worse. I should just use the curve tool. It is much better at curving things than I. I like how like the title of this was let's get back to cutting it's time to suffer and it's like so the first thing I'm gonna do is spend three hours fixing a previous hole that I left from cutting one thing. Congratulations, you are a winner. Like, I also haven't had an in-painting session in a long time, so I forgot, like, just how much effort it takes to, like, fix holes. That don't look like a rush job. I'm wondering if like, when I'm done with Aki, am I gonna be like so just done with this that I don't ever wanna like do commissions for it? Cause some of them is like, you're putting so much effort into this, it looks like you could potentially like do commissions with this sort of thing later. Like once you streamline your workflow and like get better at it. And like really learn all the tricks. And I was like, there is absolutely no way I would ever want to do that. That is way, like this takes so much time. And like. Maybe if someone like has the lower tier model or something, like I like can give them tips or something, but I wouldn't want to like take on a commission to like redo something as big as Aki. Like, but I also understand why people charge so much for these now. Like, I would have to charge more than I make at my job for it to be worthwhile.
And like even professional riggers who like do it for a living, like and like do it for like very high profile people, they still can take like 30 hours to do a rig. Like not even a cut, just the rig. And I'm just like, I see how, but like. Um, did she cut and rig it herself? Like, did she start from drawing it herself, cutting it herself, rigging it herself? Well, if she drew it herself, she wouldn't need to cut it. But... Depending on how you do it, I feel like it could be easier or harder, like depending on what materials you have to start with. If she had done a live 2D one, I was gonna be like, maybe I should like ask if it's okay if I like bug her for info. Like the interesting thing is that it looks so bad like zoomed in this far and it like makes me sad and then I zoom out and I'm like you know this is okay I can live with this. I guess it's one of those things where like when you live at like 100k mag or like close to a thousand percent mag rather you have to remember that like not everyone is staring that hard at that one specific spot. Like half the time they're probably looking at your content. The other half of the time they're looking at you, which is why I want Aki to be ready sooner rather than later. It bothers me a lot. Like there's a lot of stuff I can't do while I'm still using PNG Tuberaki. Which is why, like, despite the fact that I really want it, like, really want to make better progress on it, I also have to slow down and make sure that, like, I'm not, like, inadvertently messing myself up in the future. 
or worse that like I'm rushing so hard that like it will be detrimental in the end. What was my history? Just blending. Okay. I was like if I accidentally moved my folders I need to fix that. Backslash. Intro press backslash. You're welcome. Glad I was able to help. It's a feature. Oh, welcome to Tech Dream. Hope you enjoy your stay. Good luck in getting good jobs. I recently got my third evil eye slate. I'm debating if I want to use it on a staff or if I want to start making the bow. Like, I like archery a lot, so I kind of want to make the bow. But I'm also a human. And, like, I don't feel like making an entire gear set for magic yet. And that still... Like, even if I were to make the... Like, start looking at making the bow... I'm not even, like, close to starting just because... I've finished, like, two of the materials, but not the hard materials, the expensive ones. Okay, so you see how hold on. Why isn't it undoing? Okay. So you see how there's like a lot of shadow around the edge here? So uh, this bothers me because it's very nice shadow. So you can guess what I'm going to do, right? See what I'm doing, right? Having it. Hmm? Having it up? Okay. Yep. Like, I'm eventually gonna have to draw this back in anyway. So, I think it would make more sense to, like, at least keep some of it. I 
and then I'm gonna move this into the flower ornament folder. Turn this off. Oh, I didn't move it properly. Cool. Deselect. Hey, if you like this, then then why not subscribe? It's the best way to keep my channel alive. <laughs> It is a really pretty song. I like this song a lot. Such good music. Sorry for ruining it with the singing though. <laughs> Is. I always feel like I can't sing at all, so like I only do it like impromptu unless I like try to record a song and like do it better. But then like I feel like I'll listen to a take and be like, you know what, this isn't so bad. And then I'll like do something with it. And then I'll come back like a day later and be like, oh god, why is this so awful? Like, why did I think this was good? And this just kind of loops like forever. Inception. Blum. I like how I just put in this tip earlier today and it looks like what my first tip did at the start of stream. messed up the curve there. This curve should be more like that. Yeah. Thank you. 
あらあらあらあらあらあらい、that reminds me, I've been meaning to add like a less expensive one that doesn't get you like a custom, but you can just get like a an ara ara for cheap. Or one of that if you're especially cheap, you can get a r a a r a. Be very careful with like the edge colors here. Like, I feel like I'm doing a bad job and then I look at OBS and see it like slightly zoomed out with like less pixelation detail and I'm like, this is actually not bad. to go really slow with this and use like a small brush because mapping I want it to keep mapping for me so that the blend looks like relatively good just have to be very very slow with it And then I'll go up there and finish the other part.
Not too much, too much, too much, too much. Properly shade the next. After I finish this and the hole that I left up a bit real higher up to come work on this because I, like, I don't know, I felt like a flash of inspiration, I guess. I had an idea that I wanted to try immediately with this. Well, I feel like going very, very, very slow with the strokes and like giving the mapping time to like barely expand on each stroke as it's made is helping a lot. Getting like the right blend of. It's not just one uniform color, you know? Like there's a feel of shading. It's just very slow going, but like as it comes together, it looks it starts looking a lot nicer, I think. Especially given my like relative lack of experience in this sort of art. That's like that, maybe? And then up here, I can kind of let this go a little bit. I'm drawing, Sasha. What do you mean? What's going on? Well, in painting specifically. Oh, I see. I am just almost done, but I'm in painting some holes that were left in like very, very carefully. Sasha did not draw me an Aki pick. Sasha drew a their own VTuber and was just showing me their model. <laughs> wow, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my goodness. I didn't expect to get raided by so many people. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. I was just chilling out with my uh, art stream. So, They're mine now. Hello, Origin Flurry. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you so much for raiding, Lizzie. I was not expecting this whatsoever. So, um, hello, everyone. <laughs> I shall They're become visible now. now. Hello. It is nice to see you all. Thank you so much for raiding. Hello, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Monster Lizzie. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, white bug me. Let's do a so Monster Lizzie. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> thank you so much for coming by. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, I love headpads. Headpads are the bestest. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming by. After I finish this spot, may does anyone like Idol Showdown? Sleepy, but no sleep. 
So yes, how is your day going and how are all of you? Blessed to finish your work. <laughs> and this can kind of like curve outward a little bit. So yes, how are you today? I am just working on my Live 2D art. Let's kind of turn on the flower ornament and see, like, part of that is shadowing, but... You'd be unstoppable if not for your tired, sleepy, sleepy. I know the exact feel. I'm always super, super tired. So let's kind of blend this upwards a little bit. I am working hard. Where am I hardly working? It's never clear. <laughs> Thank you all so much. So, a little bit about what I do. I, variety streamer, I play a lot of different games each week. Um, I have a pretty strict schedule that I stick to, but sometimes I stream off schedule as well. I also do voice acting for some of the games that I play. I take requests. I also have fun enjoying things with my friends and just in general helping out with a lot of different things. So this is the art for my live 2D. Let me just see. I need to finish this little triangle up here as well. Give me a sec. And I'll zoom out in a second. You can see what I was working on. Ah, shimapa. So on days like this, I usually just chill out with everyone and just chat while I'm doing my art stream for working on my live 2D model. Um, this is actually a pretty ridiculous resolution. So that's always fun to work with. Let's decrease my size. So yeah, uh, games I'm currently playing, you can see on my schedule as well. There are also a lot of redeems that you can do to do special sounds. And once I'm done rigging Aki, I'm going to be using her. For the meantime, I'm using my PNG, which, as you can see, has a lot of different little emotes that you get when you follow my channel as well. I like the smug one in particular, but all of them are great, so please. <laughs> Thinking. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I'm currently... Um... I've been working on my own Life 2D for about half a year now. Um, I had a friend of mine do the art and then, but it wasn't like prepared in a way that works well with Life 2D. So I spent a lot of time learning how to cut, how to actually rig and set up everything. 
I know I am also not a good artist so a lot of this is me kind of learning on my feet and just kind of trying out what looks nice I'm very detail oriented so I try pretty hard really he thinks really how so Like, in general, I like interacting a lot with people who come by. I like making people feel cozy and happy. And, like, if you've had, like, a long day or something, you can come by and hang out and enjoy stream and chat and things like that. So, additionally, like, the... I do too, but I feel like a lot of that is resolved by once I have Aki like ready and people can actually like see my real time like <laughs> I think it'll look super cute. Um if y'all are interested I can quickly flick over and show you where she is right now. But I have to load in like a lot of the art that I just did. Like over the course of today. I cut out her flower ornament and left a gigantic gaping hole in that. That was a nightmare to patch. So I'm patching up the last little bit of that right now. But I hate overpainting, so like when I get really close to like the edges like this, I like zooming in tons to really paint carefully along the edges. And um, again, I'm gonna zoom out very shortly so you can actually see what I'm working on, but this zoom is 1,936%. So, when I said I try very hard and work very like closely with details, that's the level that I try to maintain. It's very pain pickle sometimes, but I feel like the end result is usually worth it. Also, I made a mistake and I have not yet configured. I have two different things that I use. I use Stream Elements and uh, Stream Labs, where due to various reasons for like art streaming, I haven't set it up properly for getting rated. So I'm sorry that it didn't like celebrate your arrival, but I'm truly grateful. So thank yous. Okay, cool. We just finished that. Let's go over the edges with a blend, and then you can see what Aki looks like! Yay! And down here. Go ahead. Blend over here, and then just fix this little bit sticking out right there. What scared you? So this is Aki! Flower ornament. <laughs> This is my VTuber. <laughs> so, this is who I've been working on this whole time. I hope that you like what she looks like. She is a kitsune, has multiple tails as well. Very, very fluffy. Please give mini head pats when she is ready. <laughs> and my goal for today was in her I had cut her flower ornament last time but there was just like a gigantic gap of nothingness here so I had to figure out like how to paint across all of that and restore all of the stuff that was nothing behind it 
I think I did a relatively decent job. There are mistakes, but I don't think anyone will notice. At least not from this far out. <laughs> so, I'll also just quickly hop over to Life 2D so you can see my progress over there. Hoi! Change scene! Oh, okay, it's doing... Is it sh oh wait, that's the texture atlas. Okay, so let's go recent files, Akin. <clears throat> so this is like a super work in progress. I'm nowhere near done, like, but one thing I can show you is I've mostly finished rigging her face except for her eyebrows but um and a couple of minor like in between frame things need to be fixed but I can so you like I can roll my eyes around I rigged each highlight so that like as I look around and I distort the mesh a bit like you can see her eyes actually roll I can do half eyes closed same thing all the way closed and then she can smile <laughs> and um, I made a bunch of different expressions where this is her everyone came by I'm so happy I'm nervous because I wasn't prepared <laughs> and I hope everyone likes me but please stay <laughs> that's her face here And then once people have, and I have followers, this is gonna be my like, <laughs> like <laughs> happy snug face. <laughs> happy snug. So there's a bunch of other different expressions as well. to see everyone and everyone's amazing like wow i'm super surprised you're amazing okay. <laughs> i'm surprised that i got read it but is this cute <laughs> i've been working so hard on her so please <laughs> be kind so yeah and then it's like also just like basic like happy Aki. But there's also very scary Aki. Like I can make her happy. And then I did another thing where like I made her eyes go wider and they can shrink. Please don't go anywhere. I'll consume you all eventually. <laughs> so it'll be fun to do stuff like that. And most recently I've been working on figuring out how to get her to, um, I'm going to be working on moving her hair, her ears and everything. But in order to do that, I have to do a lot more work on the art side. Um, just as an interesting thing, like you can also see like some of her like baseline work. I need to go back and revisit some of these. They're all like, kind of stuck together. Where I want to draw like a symmetrical ruler, for example. Like one thing I want to do is ruler symmetrical, and then back hairline. Do this, and then like I can like a straight line for the most part uh, 
it's so like you can actually grab like the color off of that and then do cool things like I drew a symmetrical ruler here so I don't know why it's not showing me what doesn't it like hmm that's odd can I at least do it up here no what I just wanted to show you some of the cool things that are like I'm working on. So, for the most part, I think I'm basically done in painting behind her flower ornament. All right. Um, before I go, like I'm planning to end stream at around seven, but before I could go, if people are interested, can show a bit of idol showdown. Maybe it can play against people online if they're interested. Would anyone like that? I volunteer for sacrifice. Oh. Oh. Oh, I got the good and the oh. bad. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go ahead and set that up, then. Let me just make sure that I save. For the love of heaven, I need to save Aki, please. No, no, save. If I lose three hours of work, I will cry. Like, actually cry. Even just thinking about it makes me tear up. So. If you're not familiar with it, Idol Showdown is a fighting game that features other VTubers. It's actually really, really cool. 